you get these four gumball machines. You're not uh-huh. even at vending machines yet. I'm assuming these yeah. are little gumball, you stick a quarter in and you keep it moving. Where number one, now you gotta find location because the person who you bought it from, I'm assuming, did not give you a location. So what is the process of going out there and finding a location? And then tell me from those little gumball machines, how much can a person make? All right, so the process of finding a location is pretty much, it's real similar to the, like with the vending machines, but the gumball machines are, are a lot easier because you know they, they you can move them so easily. So what I did was when I got one, um, when I got like my, uh, my machines, first thing I did was network, of course. So, you know, a lot of people knew me from sports. So I reached out to all my resources as far as my networking resources and I let people know what I was doing. Off of that alone, I, I placed two two machines. So I put one in a recreation center, uh, which was a wreck I was cool with, and I ended up putting another one in like a, a a pizza shop. So I got those two in there, and after that, I pretty much I would I would pick a day. You know, whenever I had a, a day off, I put them in my um in my car, and I just drive around. I'm driving around looking for somewhere to put it. I find a I find a spot. I approach them. I had a little pamphlet. Uh, I approach them, to let them know what I was doing, give them my pamphlet. If they wanted, if they was interested, I unload it right there, bring it in there, boom, and there and there there, there it is. Like so, that's pretty much how I did it with the with the gumballs. Um, but as far as the, how much they made, I would say on average, a good one would make about fifty dollars a month, right? The best one I had when I was doing it did about one twenty. It was like one hundred twenty dollars a month. Could, those little machines can hold one hundred and twenty dollars in 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 quarters. quarters. Yeah, really? heavy, heavy, heavy too, man. And you carry them quarters. <laughs> yeah, you break all types of bags. Like you got to get the right type of bags. Yeah, so I built I built that up to I had about twenty. 20 machines when I sold it. I had about 20-something candy machines. Hold on. You had 20-something of those little gumball machines? Yeah, so I built it up to what it was doing around 1000 a month off of the gumball machines. Wow. Okay, I'm assuming you're making $1,000. You're starting to see the possibilities. Like, whoa, you know, yeah. I, I can't quit my job. I got a family, but it's a little money I'm making over here. This is $1,000 right. that all I got to do is go and – Drop a few gumballs in in each of these machines every week, and I'm good. Once a month. Once wow. A month. Only did it monthly, but it was. I'm not gonna lie, man. It was it was tough because you know some of my spots was in wrecks, and you know I'm so used. My mind is still like, yo, man, you gotta get in the gym. You gotta get some shots up. I wanna play basketball, but it's like you know, my uh, my brain is like, man, you gotta focus and do what you're doing. Because I'm in the wrecks and I'm seeing the guys I used to play ball with. They in there, they getting shots up. They they playing. I'm just in there messing with a gumball machine. Then I gotta go to my next spot. Then I gotta go to work. Like you know what I'm saying. So it was it was hard to stay disciplined. I'm not gonna lie because I really just wanted to do the stuff that I like to do. Like, but I had to really stay focused and you know build what I was trying to build. So let me ask you. And is Ask, I mean, it begs the question, how much time was this take? Let's, let's go to when you have 20 machines. Mm-hmm. Because obviously, if you got one, two, three, four machines, it, it can't be that much time. You go, you buy your product, you dump it in, and you keep it moving. You do that once a month. 20 machines, how much time is coming out of your life? I would say out of the week, I could do the whole thing in about two days. Got gotcha. you. It's not, it's not going to take long at all. Honestly, and if I wasn't, if because I was working a lot, like so, if I wasn't working, like if I only worked one job at that time, it, I I probably could have did it a little. I probably could have did it all in one day, but I would have to wait because you know when you're when you're doing two jobs, I never had a four day off, like because my jobs was kind of, you know, one was like Monday through Friday, the other one might have been Wednesday through you know whenever. So on on one of the days when I only had to do one one job, whenever I got off, I would just go and do the machines, like so. If I had that whole day, I probably could have did the whole thing in one day, honestly. It just would have took a few hours. Got it. So two days are coming out your life. It's not that bad. You're making an extra $1,000 on the side. When do you graduate to vending machines? And for, for anybody who's listening, explain the difference. I know this sounds like an elementary question, but explain the difference between the gumball machines that you started out with 
in the vending machines. All right, so just for the difference, I would say the main difference are, is like the, the gumball machines only accept coins and it's only spitting out candy, right? So you're just spitting out like what is Mike and Ike Skittles, you're getting a handful of candy. Whereas the vending machines, people are putting dollars in there and it's producing um, like packs of products, whether it be honey buns, chips, and then you also got, you know, your beverage machines that could do sodas and that type of thing. Um, and I would say the point when I graduated was I was buying the candy, like like five or six of the candy machines I brought from the same person, right? So the guy, when I was purchasing on, on the last one I brought from him, he was like, why don't, you, why don't you do vending machines? I'm like, nah. And at this point, I'm comfortable with just doing the candy machines. I just go, you know, like I said, I go once a month. It takes a couple days and I'm done. And, you know, when I'm thinking about the vending machines now, I'm like, man, I got to carry sodas. I got to, it's just more work. Like, I'm already working a lot. I don't want to do no more work. Um, but he ended up talking me into it. Like, so he talked, he had a soda machine he was selling too. He was like, yeah, I can use this soda machine for 900. Nothing wrong with it. I hope you set it up. Um, you got a location for it, you know, it's, it's yours. So I'm like, uh, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do like a soft search. Like, if I find something... In my soft search, I'm, I'm going to go with it because I'm not really, you know, I wasn't really, like, sold on it, but I don't, I'm going to believe it, like, in signs. Like, so if I, if I, if I attempt something and it's, I see a sign that I should go for it, like, I'm going to go for it. Um, so off of the soft search, I ended up landing a hotel. Right, it was a, mo a motel. I ended up landing a motel, and I was like, all right, well, I'm going to do it. So I brought the machine from them. We put it in a motel, and that was my first spot. Okay, stop there. A couple of questions for you. Sold it to you for $900. Is that a deal? Or is that kind of the standard price for anybody who's thinking about upgrading and getting into the vending machine business? Is, is it kind of $1,000 what they should be expecting to pay for a used vending machine? Yeah, around that 1000 around that 1000 mark. I would say more like $1,500. Like, so he was, he was selling it for like $1,100. He gave it to me for nine. But I, I would say anywhere between a thousand and two thousand is like that that range that they, you're going to find the machines in, like the standard machines. Got you, and and that's used. That's used, yeah. Like when you want the card readers and stuff, you have to buy those separately and then install them onto the machine most of the time. Another question for you: Are vending machines like cars, right? <laughs> Meaning. Okay, granted, you sold me on the fact that I can go out there and buy a used vending machine. But am I looking to be like, well, this vending machine was made in 1995. You know, it's 25 years old now. I don't know if I want to buy that. Or, you know, do these things kind of last forever? What's the lifespan on these machines? How far back should somebody go if somebody is selling them a vending machine, even if they're getting a deal? That's a good question. I don't think nobody ever asked me that one before. That's a good question. So um, you go too, you know, you know when you went too far back if you if you if it's like a mechanical machine. And a mechanical machine is like the one you'll put the people will put the money in and they have to like turn it physically for the stuff to come out and all that type of stuff. Um yeah, like so I can't put an exact like years you should go back on it, but when it's it, it should look it should look at least somewhat modern. Like if it, if it doesn't, cause it still has to be appealing, you know, to the eye, cause you want you want it to be eye catching for the people who, you know walking past so they can actually use it. If it looks too old and and like you know, like busted or whatever you however you want to term that, um, you know nobody's going to use it. They're not going to they're not going to use it as much if it was more so eye catching. So I do use used, but I don't use like old. You know what I'm saying? So it will be used, but it won't be like old. You know, if you understand what I'm saying. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.